What is up guys? Today we're gonna play some normal mob pet because there's there's the one with um three game modes. Yeah, R3 Speed Bonanza, which I did a video on already today. Um so I don't want to play CC, obviously, because I'm not Voltrix. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um But yeah, so I'm gonna play uh, I'm gonna play the other MOA pits, and probably the best grinders won't be in um this MOA pit because you can get keys faster in the other one. Oh, it's Yin Yang. I, I do like that map. Though. I think that's my favourite map at the moment. Also, I changed the clan symbol to the pineapple with the tech terror in. Um, not sure if it looks that good, uh, but I'm going to go with it anyway because, well, it's my clan. I could choose uh, what I want. But yeah, so it's actually 16th. Uh, well, I'll, I'll go uh, I'll go to the clan after this game. But yeah, what am I, what am I doing with the boat? But yeah, 16th in the world at the moment, um, which is absolutely amazing. I didn't think it would get that far, like already it's just crazy like why um, oh my god what is he doing he <laughs> um they're gonna go with the mortar they're gonna go from mortar start right so that's gonna be absolutely terrible um I'm, I'm only hoping that they're going like ninja mortar or something because if, if they if they're not then they're gonna be in some issues and even even with the ninja because the double shot is so expensive um on maps like this where well, I'm kind of anti-stalling a bit with my boat. Um, that he's, they're just not going to get much eco. Uh, so they're going to have a lot of trouble. So they're going to go for the Bernie stuff on round three. So this is this is some... Oh, oops. I, I keep accidentally randomizing on the phone. Like, uh, I'm playing on the phone and... Oh my god, this is it's just bad. It's really bad. I keep pressing things accidentally and doing stuff like that. And it's very, very annoying. Like, I should... To be honest, I should have my second farm already up by now. Um... But even with the next banana, we're still not going to get it. And he's just going to pressure us with these blues, um, which is very frustrating. I'll probably set, yeah, I'll set my boat to close. Uh, where is that? Where's that? There. Okay, so if I set my boat to close, then I think it will do a better job. And yep, he has the ninja. He's going to send me some pinks. Uh, I'm going to be absolutely fine. Uh, leak, we, we leaked two um, yellows, but honestly, nothing really. And no, I'm not going to put the boat down. I'm going to save... Um, for the plantation, then go for my next boat, and it looks like he's going to be into uh, in some trouble with blacks and then some um, pinks over the top. I think that'll be a really good rush because the ninja he's going to have to upgrade to at least sharp. Okay, so he's upgraded to sharp shurikens actually, so we're going to boost these blacks to him and see what, the, what see what he does. He's going to wow! So I didn't even realize he had some money saved up for that. Oh, gee, uh, good play then. Um, I thought that he or she, sorry, I honestly keep it assuming gender, it's just embarrassing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I didn't think they had enough money saved up for the double shot ninja, uh, but note they did. So that's kind of, that's kind of put us down. So we only got one balloon boost left, which is not great at all. And if they send yellows on the next round, we're going to be in some trouble because we're going to upgrade to plantation as soon as we have the money. Yep, we got the money. So... Two plantations and another farm. That's not bad for round, uh, for round seven. And we will have enough money to upgrade our boat, and so it it will deal. It will deal with um, the yellows. And I'm gonna send um, a region white and then some yellows over the top. And it looks like they're doing exactly the same rush right back at me. Wow. Okay, so these yellows. Hopefully we can sneak some past. Um, but honestly, because the mortar spot on this map is not great at all. Because uh, it's not like circular, it doesn't hit two bits at once. It's it's not that good, but nope, he dealt with that. He dealt with that rush just fine. Um, so that's pretty rip. I'm gonna go for our third plantation, a bit greedy, um, but we have the wizard. So it, it, uh, we have the wizard in the boat strap, which kind of allows us to greed, to be honest, uh, with this loadout. Okay, so regen, regen, oops, regen zebras, and then some regen whites. Um, all they're gonna go for a rush as well. Um, but I have enough money to upgrade to lightning bolt, so I'm going to be absolutely fine against white, so I'm pretty sure. And it looks like they're going to go down! Are they going to go down to... Oh, you're going to have to boost, mate. Oh, and they boosted, but will they survive? Down to 30... 36 lives, and they are still... They're, <laughs> they're still alive. Face farming, but still alive. Right, okay, so let's get some more wizards ready. Um, just in case they go all out, because that definitely could happen. Oh, they're gonna no, they're gonna carry on equing. So we're going to go for a big ass zebra rush for the win. 
with some regen zebras over the top. And this is a pretty huge rush. No way! Oh, I thought they were going to Maelstrom. They're, they're dead. They're, they're dead. They should have gone for the Maelstrom. That is ridiculous. Why did they not Maelstrom? They had Tack Shooter. They could have Maelstrom that and defended it easy. But no, then they... they oh, my God. Right, that, that was... That was... That was... Oh, my God. That was embarrassing for them. They, they, they should have Maelstrom that because... They had they they could sell everything. I spent 2k on that rush. That would have put me quite far behind. I mean, it gave me eco, but zebras aren't the best form of eco. That's pinks. So yep, that's really. Oh, I, they should have they should have come for the maelstrom. And um, we've got our next opponent, who has 661 wins and 616 losses. So they're just over the 50% mark with that. And yeah, 51%. So yep, Zen Garden. That's fine. I'm gonna randomize. I don't know why I did that, just to make it more interesting, I guess. And we got ninja boats. Nope. Okay, they're going to um gonna skip that and get water hazard. I'm gonna yep. I'm gonna randomize again. And we get boat, dart, ace, and tack. So yeah, I'm really happy with that loadout to be honest. Um we'll start off with the We'll start off with the boat, I think. And then yeah, get it up to grape shot and do all of that jazz. Um and that's gonna be good. Um, it's a shame we don't have farm, but look, they're doing exactly the same thing. Apart from, I think, going for Grape Shot first. Oh my god, they've gone for the longer cannons. They've gone for the longer shooting, plus um, the faster shooting. Plus, they've just put down all of their attacks, which I would... Re you should probably save your attacks and Moabs. Um, especially with this loadout, I would definitely save them. Because um, against the Moab, the best popping power you have... Um, well, I have with this strat is boat, like getting a few destroyers up. So, um, tacking the Moab, it, it does actually, because each tack has 20 pops, so that's 60 pops. And Moab has 100 health, so that's more than half of the health of the Moab gone. What? What? How did he have enough money for a destroyer? Is it, I, I what? I guess, I guess, wow. I didn't even know you could get a destroyer on round three. Um... But apparently can. I was so excited for a moment. I thought, oh my god, we're facing a hacker. But no, I, I, <laughs> that is pr com probably completely a legit destroyer. I just didn't realize you can get it on such an early round. God, I'm not used to the layout of mobile. I'm not sure I like it yet. Uh, like having to having to flip between sending eco and with the towers. I'm not sure I like it. But I mean, it'll do. I mean, the screen's bigger, which is a lot better. Because having a bigger screen, you can do so much more stuff. And it's it's just an, it's just nicer on YouTube to watch a video um, where where it has a bigger screen. So anyway, um, he's going to be absolutely fine with that destroyer. Uh, I'm pretty sure it can deal with like lots of stuff. Um, whereas we're going to have to we're going to struggle a bit. So we're going to have to get our second grape shot up. Maybe maybe we should save for a destroyer, but nah. I, I think we're just going to stick with the two boats. And against Blacks, we'll be completely fine. It's kind of a waste of his money because it won't give him much eco. And we're just going to... We, we already have an eco advantage over him. Because he went for the destroyer straight away. So he didn't send any eco until round four. Uh, which is not a good thing to do. He definitely, he definitely shouldn't have done that. Um, but then again, he doesn't have the best record. So we're going to go for faster shooting again. It's kind of a shame we're not facing really good players. I, I want to face some decent, like, proper decent players. Which is why Boss Arenas is really good. Because you're fa you, literally everyone you face is good at the game. Or, you know, has a complete understanding of how to play. Um, whereas in Moab Pit, it's kind of... It's, <laughs> noob Pit, uh, it, as in the name, it does have tons of people that do not understand the mechanics of the game. And, like, you know, how to, how to play the basics, at least. Uh, I mean, they know what the towers do and how to defend rushes, um, but it, it's just smaller stuff like placements, you know, and uh, and timings of rushing and stuff like that, that uh, that's really important, you know. Uh, right, so we're going to save it. Oh, my God. I want to go No Lives Lost. I wanted to go No Lives Lost. No. Oh, that's rip. Okay, so. Ooh. Ooh. Um, against Leds, we're going to have to get a cannon ship up, so that's not perfect because... Cannon ship is not great, I have to be honest. Cannon ship is really not that good, especially against leads. Like, it's 1,200 for an upgrade that shoots a small bomb that does literally no damage whatsoever. It is, it is unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, are we going to have to boost this? I'm, I'm just going to boost that. That is getting too close. That was, a, that was a big rush. 
Okay, so um, let's get a juggernaut actually here. Uh, we'll set it to last, so it shoots right down there. So if you send me some zebras, I can just get some spiker poults and stuff uh, down here that will defend perfectly fine. And we're gonna go for oops, oops. No, I do not want to surrender. <laughs> that was a, that was oops, oops. Um, I'm still not used to the layout of um, of mobile. But right. Okay. So let's send some regen zebras. Big regen zebra rush. Some blacks behind. And is he gonna defend with the bomb or oh, with the energy? I think he could defend, because with the wizard, the bomb, plus the boat, he does defend the rush. Well well played, well played. So, we still haven't got any camo layer popping power, I don't think. No, we do. We have crow's nest on that, right? Okay, so we got we got our camo popping power. Um, oh my god. Oh, he has cobra. He has cobra. <laughs> he has the cobra, guys. So, we're just going to keep on ecoing to 750. And then, honestly, we're just going to stop there and build up some defense. Because uh, now he has the Cobra. He can, he can he can attrition me. Wait, he energyed. Oops. He uh, oops. Okay, but yeah, he can uh, he can attrition me. He can balloon adjust me as well, uh, which will be a, a big problem. It'll be a really big problem. But yeah, look at this spike pole doing work. It is just firing right down there, popping tons of stuff. Um. Okay, so Moab. I think uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna send a Moab at him. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be ready for Moab. So, yep, let's send the Moab, and should we put some regen leads behind it? I think not. I think we'll just do regular leads behind it, and then with some zebras, um, perhaps. Or even even just, actually just regular rainbows, I think, um, could be good. Because it does give us eco as well. I know uh, zebras uh, are better, but yeah, is he going to defend this mob? That is the question. And it looks like, is it? Yep, he defends perfectly. He doesn't need a single life. Oh my god. Okay, so we're still, he's still um, no lives lost in uh, this match, and he's still got the Cobra up. Okay, so that was a massive waste of money. We do not have much eco, um, so that's not good. And the balloon adjustment will start to get worse, I believe. I'm pretty sure it will. And we probably need to get this jug up, don't we? Um, just for the uh, just for the lead uh, popping power. And maybe we could go for a ring of fire. Yeah, a ring of fire would be quite nice, actually. So yeah, let's sell that. Go for the ring of fire. And now let's just carry on ecoing, because we haven't been ecoing much. We have a higher eco than him, uh, but still, it's not that high. It could be a lot higher. But yeah, look at that ring of fire. That's just going to demolish all of the leads, apart from the camo ones, obviously. But yeah, I think that was a good decision to get the ring of fire there. So we're going to eco to, I think, 1,000 um, will be a good eco. Yeah, 1,000. You can see that there was a uh, ceramic right there. Uh, on round 20 because he's, he's only got one cobra up but if he got like five up then literally every balloon would be a constant ceramic which would be absolutely terrible um so hopefully he doesn't do that right okay so got the a thousand eco it's almost uh i reckon i should rush with a oh my god or fast cool like a giant fast cooldown moab rush um i'm not sure oh god i don't want to quit okay so Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna save up for the Zomo God, or maybe I'll just carry on equing to be honest, because I don't think he can kill me with any rush at the moment, uh, especially as I have boats. Oh, look at this ring of fire do work. Will it be enough though? I think with the jug, with the jug, it will be enough. But what is? Oh my God, are we gonna die? Oh my God, that was so bad. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we we lo Oh. Dear, we lost to that guy. Great, absolutely great. We lost to that guy. Um, oh god. So I think there was actually a ceramic that went past. So I'm pretty sure I saw a camo ceramic sneak past that I had. My destroyers hadn't seen. I should have just been safe uh, and gone for the uh, for the destroyer. But rip. So yep, we <laughs> we lost that one. And we're gonna play one more game, I think. Um, hopefully we find someone good this time. Uh, come on, honestly, we haven't we haven't faced anyone good today. At least at least we haven't faced BMers. I'd rather place um I'd rather face actually no that's not true. I'd rather face BMers, good BMers, uh, than noobs to be honest. Uh, but let's see how good this guy is. Nope. Oh my god. So 148 to 185. That is that is legit an awful record, especially in Moab Pit. How did they get so many medallions? Um, but yeah, so. Best, best strat on this map is probably a Cobra strat with the Mortar 
bomb and um, yeah. Okay, so and we get the we get the apprentice. Guess that's useful, kind of for uh, like extra camo defense if they try and camo exploit my mortar. But honestly, mortar on this map is really good. And yep, he's gonna anti steal with the spikes straight away. So thanks a lot for that, Ace. Thanks a lot, mate. <laughs> um, I can't I can't really talk. I used to anti steal. But yeah, he's going farms. So is he going dart farm or is he going with the heli? So if he's going with the fet heli, he's going to struggle a lot against balloon adjustment. And yep, we get the two we get the two cobras up, which is nice. And carry on ecoing because some people with the cobra strap they don't eco at all. And it's really important not to just rely on the Cobras, but to rely on the Eco as well. You need to get to at least 450 Eco by round 13 with the Cobras. Otherwise, you're just gonna you're just gonna fail the more late it goes. If you know what I mean. So right, we're gonna get another Cobra here, just a zero zero at the moment. And of course, we're gonna save up enough money for the wide funds by the end of the round. Um, yeah, we'll get that now and send some more Reds. So still Ecoing, we're gonna put pressure on him as well because he's, he's actually going Dark Farm. I wonder what he, I wonder if he's going Dark Farm Ace because Dark Farm Ace on this map is not good. Like the A spot, where where is a good A spot? There there isn't one. Apart from it, the, like at the side of the map, um, side of the map here, like there is good. Oh my god, I accidentally placed the spikes. Rip. I I can't do anything on mobile. I honestly can't. I'm just not used to playing on this mobile. It's just huge. Um, <laughs> what? Why do they have to be so big? But yep. He, is he going to get up a spike pole right there? Because he, he should get a spike pole. Uh, he should put a spike pot here. Um, over there. Uh, just to deal with the uh, Just to deal with my eco. And set set it to last right down that bit. And that would deal with like greens and stuff. Um, so yeah, he should definitely do that. And he's, he's going to send me some pinks. But it's not going to do anything. Like, he, he should have been pressuring me way more than he is. He, he just allowed me to greed so much. Like, look how much money, look how much eco I have, and, like, defense-wise, I ha I would die to greens, literally, I would. I'd have to sell my Cobras to get a bomb tower up, but again, he's just not rushing me. So, we're going to stop at 450 eco, and we're going to save up for, actually, we're just going to carry on Cobraing, to be honest. Um, can we fit a bomb tower there? If we can fit a bomb tower there, I'll be happy. And, no, we cannot fit a bomb tower there, so we're going to get another Cobra, because he's sending blacks. Uh, and we'll get the mortar up here, and that's going to deal with all of the reds and like the space balloons. Um, eventually, we'll move it like here. I think if you get it to bigger blast, that will be able to deal with that whole bit right there, uh, which would be pretty neat. Okay, so let's go up to 500 eco uh, plus the cobras. He hasn't been able to farm very well uh, simply because I've been pressuring him so much with the eco. So yeah, he's still sending whites. Not sure why, because whites will not do absolutely anything. And honestly, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep on cobring. If he goes all out, then I will just go for a cluster bomb and then upgrade it to balloon impact. And the balloon impact, along with the mortar, is perfect for defending round 13. So yeah, I can just carry on getting my cobras up because he's he's just not he's just not rushing me with anything that can kill me. He should send he should definitely be sending stuff at me to try and kill me. I mean, I've lost lives. But nothing major. Uh, right, so let's... I think... It's not a great spot, but... Actually, I could, I could probably place it better than that, to be honest. Right there. That's good. Okay, and we'll get the bigger blast and that. So, deal with that. So, the whole area... Oops. Oh, my God. I keep clicking the back button on my phone. It's so... Oh, he's going all out, isn't he? He's going all out. He is going all out, guys. Um, he sold everything. What? No! I thought he was going all out. He sold everything. He, he sold like half his stuff, but no. Okay, okay. so he's, he's just gonna sell it. What is this guy? What is this guy doing? Oops! 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 Oh my days! That was the poorest micro ever. But yeah, we still do defend. I accidentally sold my cluster bombs instead of what I was actually originally trying to sell, which was my um a few cobras. So yeah, that's pretty rip. And we can we're gonna rush him with a few zebras on the next round uh, from the money from the cobras. And, right, let's see what happens. We'll send some camos behind it as well, I think. Uh, just to see if he has camo detection. He's going to have to get up the turbocharge ability, to be honest. Uh, yep, he gets up the turbocharge. He probably would have defended it without. Uh, but it's nice that we got uh, we forced the ability on him. Right, okay, so let's carry on getting... Let's get three more Cobras up. Two now. Two more Cobras. And then we'll... Oh, he's going for some... Um, he's going for some camo leads. 
but with my mortar, I will just completely annihilate that rush. Um, and now, after after this round, this is this is when we can start balloon adjusting him. Uh, next round, it is it, it is going to be great. Um, we'll set cobras to strong just so it can deal with the mob. In case he sends one, Are they, yeah, most of them are set to strong, so that's good. Uh, we're going to send a mob at him. Oh, he's going to rush me with one, isn't he? I can, I can just tell. So I, I can just road spike it, to be honest. Because uh, I've got two road spikes. Um, I, I, Yeah, I'm just going to boost that. But I'm going to be able to defend that absolutely fine. Because the Cobras actually have good popping power against mobs, uh, surprisingly. So yeah, he's used a turbo charge on that. But will it run out? Nope. Nope, he defends that fine with the turbo charge. And uh, we're going to go in for some more zebra action. Uh, mixed with a few leads, so he has to. we have to force him. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to send tons of ceramics. And this is going to be GG. Unless he... No, he doesn't know how to micro, apparently. He's just going to let them sneak past, not buy the boomer again. And we take him down. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you're enjoying the phone videos. Um, they're a bit different. But, yeah. See you in the next one.